and welcome back. It's Gina from OrchidandOpal.com and today we're going to check out two of the curated collections from Beads to Live By, which are two of their monthly subscriptions. And inside this package, I should have the 110 seed bead selection for June 2023 and also their two whole bead subscription. Now, if you'd like to get your hands on either of these color selections for June, you'll want to do so by the 17th of this month or before they're sold out, whichever comes first. Because if you sign up on the 18th or after, you're actually going to be getting the next month's selection. So keep that in mind if you want these particular beads specifically. And I have the link right down below the video in the description section with all the details you need to know about signing up. They also have several different lengths of time that you can sign up for. And the price goes down a little bit if you sign up for a longer period of time. But let's go ahead and get into this package and see what's inside. We'll go through the seed beads first. And if you sign up for this one, what you're gonna get every month is a package containing eight 10 gram bags of round size 11 O seed beads. And these are in higher quality brands like Toho, Miyuki, as well as some check glass selections. They do make great options for bead weaving because they are so consistent. And while these bags aren't specifically labeled, you can find the listing of the product codes for each of these seed beads that you'll receive on their website, which they usually post on their reorder page. There's a drop down menu and you can just Google that code. And it'll tell you exactly what brand and color in the event that you need to order more of these or if you want to have these labeled in your stash. So right now I'm going to pop this bag open and pour out the contents into one of those ceramic bead trays and then we'll take a look at each of these eight varieties of clothes. Here is the palette of everything all together and I think it is so beautiful. They're always sending something different, but also well curated and put together around a certain color scheme. And I think that's one of my favorite things about these beads to live by packages. It's that the seed beads coordinate with their monthly selection of two whole beads and their other subscription add-ons. And on their website, you can find their other additions, which are optional to add on and coordinate with the monthly color scheme. For example, they have the fire polish edition where you can receive additional coordinating strands of those specific types and also another one hole check glass bead strand edition that you can choose to add on to your subscription. So a lot of things to bulk up your seed bead order for that month, expanding the horizon of possibilities for creating as much or as little as you want to. So getting started with June selection, we have a lovely frosted variety here. It looks like it has a purple lining and a frosty transparent blue outer glass. And it's one of our deeper but still vibrant colors in this palette. Moving on to our second selection, which is very, very vibrant. It's a great mix of blue and purple that is very eye-catching, and it's one of our opaque colors with a glossy surface. And you can see how they're mixing up the different finishes and styles of these seed beads, which is perfect. Number three being another great example of that in this lovely shade of teal which is really rich and also has that metallic lining that comes through adding some additional sparkle through that possibly alabaster style or opal-like style glass. This palette reminds me of like an under the sea theme or coral reef where you see all the vibrant fish, coral, and sea life, especially with some of these bright oranges coming up. We have more of a neutral color in this next selection, but definitely has a greenish undertone and appears to have a creamy colored lining underneath the frosty exterior glass in what looks to be a grayish color over top of the cream or pale yellow, resulting in that very light olive green undertone. And here is our very bright, I'll call this clownfish orange, 
It also has a rainbow-like finish. These are matte too, so they're a bit frosty looking. And therefore, that rainbow or AB coating over the exterior is toned down a bit, but you still get those subtle variations and the rainbow of colors, which is a fun addition. And then we have another one of those alabaster varieties with the metallic lining and inner sparkle in a stunning shade of peach or salmon, which I also think looks great with that more bright orange that we just looked at. And we follow that up with the matte transparent deep berry color, a dark pink with a red undertone. I think this might have an inner lining, but it's a little bit hard for me to tell. Some of them look like they do from this angle, but it could just be the way that I'm looking at them. Either way, they give off the same color pretty much and act as a great bridge between the warmer shades of orange and the cooler shades of purple and blue. And speaking of which, we wrap it up with the last variety, which I think is also perfect and it brings everything together with this matte rainbow finished variety. You can see pretty much all the colors that we took a look at popping up in this one style of seed bead. Look at all those different colors, but still subtle and toned down, especially with the matte finish. And these are something that could combine with any one of these other colors. And also, like I said, bring them all together. So I think that's a great way to finish off this selection. We have another fun palette to play around with this month. And 11-0 seed beads are so versatile. We use them all the time in projects. And that's not just for bead weaving. I think they're just a really versatile bead for so many different crafts. Of course, as you can see, these are very uniform. So I like to highlight that because that can be important if you're using them in more intricate designs where the consistency matters. And there are a lot here to play with, as there are every month in these seed bead packages. So I think that's a great start to this package, very inspiring. And I have one of their additional subscriptions that we're going to look at, which bulks up our seed beads and adds to it a selection of two whole check glass beads, which come already in a coordinating palette of colors. So if you'd like to sign up for the Two Whole Beads Club, that information is also on their website. It's a separate monthly subscription that you can sign up for in addition to the seed beads, or you could do either one. Just make sure you sign up for this one too if you'd like to receive both. And in this one, every month you're gonna get five strands of Two Whole Beads. And as of right now, they're gonna be the same five varieties, just coming in a different selection of colors on a monthly basis. First, we have the two hole silky beads, which are like the two hole tiles. Their holes are just on the diagonal, so they sit in more of a diamond shape. And you're going to receive 25 pieces of each of these, except for the lentil beads. That strand is going to have 50 beads on that. So here we have this gorgeous, varied metallic selection, which I think looks great with that last seed bead variety we took a look at with the rainbow of colors. We see this mix a lot in the check glass beads and I think it's so fun and can pull a number of different colors together with the greens and pinks, copper, gold, number of different things going on in this one. And that's what I'm talking about, this seed bead selection. I think those look great together. And I don't know why, but I hadn't initially thought about putting this type of metallic mix with this type of seed bead, but I really love that. The next two whole bead strand contains the daggers, and on one side of these very glossy and reflective beads, we have the more opaque metallic coating that brings us some of the purple and blue in the mix. And on the other side, you can see some of them are flipped to one side or the other, and the other side has more of the warmer light copper or peach tone that's reflected in our seed bead palette. So you could actually think of these as being sort of reversible. They're quite different on either side, depending on which one you want to have more prominent. And there you can see clearly the two holes that run through the top of those daggers and how you get that metallic shine coming through the clear glass that shows up on this half of the bead. 
Next up are the lentils. So these are the ones with the 50 pieces on the strand. They are a thinner round disc style with two holes that are centered and run through the face. And we have another fun mix here in the transparent shades of yellow and orange that come together and also form some areas that look peach. There is a closer look at these beads. From the face, they also appear to have an AB coating that shows up in certain areas, making them a little bit iridescent and showing off the rainbow of colors. Our fourth selection is a strand of these tile beads with this pearlescent looking deep pumpkin orange that also seems to have a golden sheen or luster on the surface. They're quite beautiful. And those of course have the two holes running parallel through these flat square shapes. They are the same also on the entire surface. And then to wrap it all up for selection five, this is our strand of the pyramid or stud beads with a lot of dimension to them and the two holes going through that bottom just above the flat square base. And this color is also very bright and bold, brings in some pink, which is lighter and brighter and is a lot of fun with the bright orange. And also, if you want to do more of a tone on tone, it looks great with that deeper frosty berry color of seed beads that we received this month. And there is a closer look at the whole placement of this style. Well, that wraps it up for the June 2023 Beads to Live by curated seed bead and two hole bead selections. Another stunning palette and inspiring choices to work with, I have to say. And as a reminder, if you'd like to get these specific beads, you need to sign up by the 17th of this month. If you sign up for any of their subscriptions on the 18th or after, you're going to get the following month's orders. So be sure to check out their website, which is linked below for all the details that you need to know about signing up. And also be sure to look at those subscription add-ons that they have. I'd mentioned the Fire Polish Edition and also their One Hole Check Last Bead Edition, which also come in colors that coordinate with this month's theme. Another subscription they offer is their Vintage Buttons. Those are tons of fun and so unique and artistic. There's a couple of examples if you want to check out the Beads to Live By playlist that I have on my channel. I shared some of those in some of the earlier videos. So all that to say, there's just a lot to choose from and explore on their website as you're looking around, as well as their online bead shop. Be sure also to subscribe to their YouTube channel and other social media because they introduce projects that go along with the beads that they send out. So you have some inspiration and ideas of what to put together and actually create specifically from what they've sent. Once again, thank you all so much for being here to share in the fun of unboxing these with me. I love to have you and you'll have to leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the color palette or beads to live by or anything else you'd like to say. It's always great to hear from you. Also, be sure to give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and found it helpful to take a look at these contents up close. And don't forget to subscribe while you're here to my channel because I would love to have you back. That's all for now, but until next time, I hope you all have a fabulous rest of your day. And as always, happy beating.